there, physical media people. It's Philip Jeffries here once again for COVID and cult film. And uh, I was alerted to buy the interwebs. I am um, now accustomed with that technology that uh, there is something called Shocktober. It runs from uh, yesterday to November 1st. And it is an arrow sale. So I have given um, my recommendations for Arrow titles in the past, and um, I'm trying not to overlap. I didn't go and rewatch my videos, so I'm not going to pull out the big ticket items. Although I will say this, get box sets. They are, that's, that's one to get them. Really, it's one to get them. But I'm not going to show any box sets here. I will say this, though. Enter the video store, the standard. They say it's up for pre-order and all that. I've seen them in the wild. They're out there. They're done. It's, it's uh, like, you know, you, you, you'll, you'll get it. You'll get it uh, very quickly, very, very soon after you order it. So um, don't, don't. Uh, I saw somebody who said, oh, I ordered this ages ago. And it's like, it's coming. And uh, I'd also like to point out that, oh, God, my, uh, my sickness has come back. And uh, to deal with... All that, these keep me company. These shroomies, oh yeah. And uh, I, I know I have a lot of American uh, uh, viewers and they love their, their Ambien down there. Up here, we have something called Zopaclone, which is apparently, well, it's illegal down there and because it's stronger. And, uh, and I want a bunch of that too. And uh, let me uh, just cheers before I get into this. Mm. Ah, yeah, you got me on a bad slash good day. King of New York, Christopher Walken, Lawrence Fishburne, Wesley Snipes, Steve Buscemi, a film by Abel Ferrara. This is a painterly film, and this is one of the best 4Ks I have ever seen in my life. Get it. This goes out to my U.S. subscribers and also to my... Uh, uh, UK subscribers. I don't have a lot from the UK, but uh, so this is for a bit of both for all of you, actually. But I, th I think if you're US, you can import this, whatever, just do it. Get this on 4K, it's it's unbelievable. I love Abel Ferrara. We need Bad Lieutenant on 4K and we need Miss 45. All right, rest in peace, uh, Zoe Lund. Okay, The Exterminator, Robert Ginty. Now, this is one of my favorite exploitation films, and it's just a great New York exploitation flick. It's wonderful. Wonderful stuff. You can't go wrong. This is a, uh, it's a UK release, but it is region free. So if you're worried about that because you don't have a region free player, fear not. It plays A, B, C, A, B, C, U, D, E, F, G. Anyway, Exterminator. Got it. been a minute since I've watched this, but The Snake Girl and The Silver-Haired Witch. This is an excellent Japanese folklorish horror film that is just out of this world. It will, you know, I mean, literally out of this world. Great stuff. Beautiful black and white. This is a wonderful transfer. I highly recommend The Snake Girl and The Silver-Haired Witch. Please, please, please pick this up. I'm not sure if the slip is still in stock, but we're just doing Blu-rays today. I will do more uh, installments of this. So, here you go. Shock. Mario Bava's final film, Lumberto Bava, did some direction on this. Um, Dario Nicolotti had just split from Dario Argento, and she was in a bit of a going through a bit of a mental health crisis and uh, she needed some work and uh, the Bavas and the Argentos, it was sort of a family kind of thing and they cast her in the lead and maybe her going through stress helped with her performance. Uh, not that she needed any help, but she's excellent in this. There are some jump scares in here that will... Pff, uh, they're, they're, to call them jump scares is to it's a disservice to them really and the film is a wonderful psychological horror flick underrated and I think shock should be on your list hey it's the spooky season pick it up I will do my uh, my horror um, 
picks. Don't, don't you worry. Yeah, Robert Ginty again with Fred Williamson and Belinda Maine. If you want to know what brotherly and sisterly love is all about, white fire. There it is. Now, I know the person who produced this, uh, or uh, yes, she I believe she produced the disc. Um, she did the commentary, and uh, they tried to get Belinda Maine, who doesn't live too far from... Uh, from from the producer and commentator on this disc, my friend Kat, and Belinda turned it down, and then realized that no, they weren't going to make fun of her. This was this is a like a prestige release, and and it it deserves it. I love this film. This is psychotronic cinema. This is like American rickshaw. I mean, um, get it in, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff. That champagne and bullets, you know, that that kind of stuff. Um, New York Ninja that you know it's it's just it needs to be seen to be believed and I've watched this movie four or five times it's one of those infinitely rewatchable flicks I highly recommend White Fire I might have pulled this out the last time um but uh they anyway uh Belinda Maine she said no and then she said yes but it was already the disc was done it was going into production so it would have been really nice because this is kind of like this is the release this is that's it. I don't think there's going to be any other release, but it would have, really would have been nice for her to um, to touch on that, to, uh, to touch on her experience with the film. She seemed embarrassed by it. Uh, you know, did, I, I wouldn't be. Don't be. It's it's really a fun film. People enjoy it, and um, and you've you've contributed something to cinema that people enjoy, and there's nothing nothing to be ashamed of, Belinda. So, hats off to you, and uh, I hope all is well. Not that she's watching this, but you know, that those that's my those are just my sentiments. My sentiments, people. Brotherhood of Satan, another one for the um, Holly Hollywood Halloween uh, <laughs> Halloween season. This is probably my favorite uh, satanic cult film. I know Imprint also had their own release, which was pretty awesome. But man, this thing is just, it's, it's so cool. It's really, 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 really well done. LQ Jones, who was a uh, Sam Peckinpah regular, knew his horror. And he wrote the script or co-wrote it with somebody. Um, and he's in this as well as the uh, hapless sheriff, as I, as I rem if I remember rightly. And this is creepy. This is like creepy stuff. And Strother Martin is also in it. Strother Martin of, uh, we're failing to commute. We're getting, we're having a failure of communication here. I can't remember the line. Fuck it. Who cares? Ah, you know, whatever. Ah, you know, from cool, uh, um, cool hand Luke Strother Martin. That's who I mean. We're having a failure to communicate something like that. Anyway, don't rake me over the coals, but this is another high recommendation, especially for this season. And yeah, so that goes into my, October Shocktober Aero Video Sale Recommendations. Now, a very highbrow uh, release, Day of the Jackal. This is a thriller that needs to be seen by everyone. It is a masterpiece. It is, I'm sure, I'm sure that Aero, that not Criterion just are drooling to get the rights to this. Uh, I believe it. Um, but I love this film. It's got a great cast. And uh, notably, Delphine Sirik is just uh, just stunningly gorgeous, and she's in this too. Just, yeah. Oof. Oof. But um, besides that, Jean Sorel shows up in a very small role. Jean Sorel of So Many Jolly. I could do a whole Jalo uh, recommendations vid for Aero Video. My God, that's how I kind of got into them. I have, I think, every Jalo that they put out, so uh, on 4K and otherwise. And yes, all of the Dario Argento 4Ks, I think you should pick up, of course. But that is for another video. Day of the Jackal. 100% classic. Another classic. La Grande Bouffe with Marcello Mastriani and a few other people. This is great. This is a hilarious film and it's all about being eaten yourself to death and being a pig and it's hilarious and um catherine deneuve after this played i believe at the con film festival catherine deneuve wouldn't talk to marcello mastriani for like two weeks 
because it was such a sensation and i mean bad sensation at the con film festival but the film is excellent and history has proven catherine to be oh i don't know a bit of a stuck up i'm not going to call her a bitch because i don't think she is but catherine to know just being a little stuck up at the time maybe it was just it was a too ahead too ahead too risque for her at the time and she just uh she was appalled that marcello had done this film and uh i mean what a cover what a cover le grand bouffe get it all right pit stop a jack hill film and this is absolutely excellent and it is i don't really want to say too much about it but one thing i will say is that this has a very early performance from ellen burston currently starring in the most popular film in the cinemas right now and that is the exorcist believer highly recommend that film go see it spend your money buy the popcorn buy a drink enjoy pit stop is great though jack hill another jack hill switchblade sisters wonderful stuff wonderful stuff it's about girl gangs fighting each other what more can you want there you go and finally one more spooky thing maniac cop the first one and this is a region uh it's it's from region b but it's also region free so america my uh my uh, american friends my subscribers my 172 warrior samurai warrior subscribers fear not this is region free and y'all should grab it so that concludes my first uh very sloppy uh shocktober arrow video uh sale thing of a bob yeah i'm having quite a saturday folks quite a saturday any hoodles all the best to you your families everyone it's canadian thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving to the canadian viewers i don't have many maybe two i don't know but to all my 172 samurai warrior subscribers peace and good health all the best <laughs>